Hi, and welcome to the second part of the tips and tricks on the interactions or contacts. The second part is about the bounded interactions. So let's see in, in this example how we can represent a welding. So in this case, we have this reinforcement part welded to this tube. Uh, in fact, the bounded interaction is especially for welding, but especially to represent the fact that we have two parts that are attached to get together and it's not possible for them to be separated, just like a, a uh, perfect welding. So let's have a quick look at how we can define this type of interaction. So we'll be choosing the bounded interaction and we are asked to select two entities. So very simple, let's select the first one. Usually we try to select the smallest entity in the first uh, field. And as for the second one, we'll, we'll select the, larger, the, the, the largest entity. And here we go, we have just created the bounded interaction to re represent the welding between these two parts or bodies. Do we have quicker ways to define multiple interactions? Absolutely. We'll see in the uh, last episode of the series on the uh, interaction levels uh, that there are many, there are, are multiple ways to create a lot of interactions at the same time from one command or one feature. So this ends our second part on the bounded interaction to be able to take into account an example of a welding. So don't miss our next part on the contacts. Thank you very much and see you next time.